Hey guys, how you doing? So right now I'm at my greenhouse. It's a little bit empty because the season just started. But today's mama selected again and she wanted egg rolls. So I'm getting green onions that I still have left from the winter season. So we can create our egg rolls today. So stay tuned. I'm gonna tell you how to make them soon. Hi, my name is Sandra and I am Sumai. And this channel, the secret ingredient is love. All the ingredients. They have But. All the ingredients and equipment that we will be using in this recipe, I'm gonna leave it down below. Let's start with this recipe. So today we're making two recipes. Let's start making the dark sauce so the flavors develop and we can let it rest. So you're gonna need sugar, apple cider vinegar is what I haven't had, but try to find rice vinegar, it's gonna turn out much better. You're gonna need apricot jam, uh, shallots, ginger, and garlic, sample sauce to add a little bit of spiciness, and soy sauce. The ingredients are gonna be in the Asian, um, meaning the ingredients, the sambal and the soy sauce are gonna be in the Asian oil. Now we're gonna start mixing our ingredients. You're just gonna put everything in a bowl that you can cover. And once you have everything in your bowl or container, you're just gonna mix it until it's evenly mixed. If you like it a little bit more spicy, you can add a little bit more sample. We don't like the spicy, I just like the flavor, so I didn't add a lot of it. Uh, make sure to taste everything you cook. And once it's done, just cover it and put it on the fridge. Now we're going to start doing the filling for our egg rolls. You're going to need ground pork for this recipe, garlic, ginger, and I use shallots. And I use half a bag of broccoli slaw and half a bag of regular coleslaw mix. Uh, we're gonna use the green onions that we just harvested from my backyard. I think what I have is a uh, shiny spice spice. I'm not sure. This spice was gifted to me by some workers from China. You're gonna need garlic and onion powder, soy sauce, and sesame oil. Now we're going to start cooking. I like to cook my meat first before I add the rest of the ingredients. I just add a little bit of salt so it would develop our, those layers of flavor. Once it's almost cooked, I add the rest of my ingredients but the green onions and the slaws. Once it's completely cooked, I add a little bit of salt and pepper. And uh, once it's completely cooked, I add my slaws in it. I don't want it to cook it that much. I, I want some of that crunch for when I eat it. I just fix the flavor. And last but not least, I added my green onions. Now we're going to start building our egg rolls. This is a package of egg roll wrappers. I forgot to mention it at the beginning. So you're going to wet all the borders of your egg rolls so they close tight. And you're going to put a, like a, I put like four tablespoons of the stuff in and I just roll it this way. This way you can roll burritos too. Now we're going to cook it. We're going to fry it. We're going to use a deep pan to fry our egg rolls. We're just gonna fry that until they're golden brown. If you have a little deep fryer, even better because you won't ever you wouldn't even need to like turn them around. Mm -hmm. 
Once it's dried and golden to the desired color, you're going to take them out and put them in a paper towel and this is how our final dish looks. So let's taste this recipe. Cheers. The sauce makes the difference. It has more flavor than the packaged one. This you can do ahead of time. You can even freeze it and take it as needed. Try it out. It's a really easy recipe. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. Hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you really, really did like this video, don't forget to share it. I see you next time with another recipe. Ciao. Bye.